Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I crochet a lot of cute plushies, but for today's video, we are doing a studio vlog. I thought it would be fun to show you guys some cool plushies that I made over the course of a week. And I made these plushies while prepping for my market. So I was fulfilling orders while market prepping. That was a lot, I would not recommend. Definitely close down your shop if you're going to do a market. But anyway, I'm excited to show you guys some plushies that I haven't shown you before. And I'm just excited to bring you guys along this week while I crochet. I am going back home to Jersey at the end of this week and I'll be there for two weeks. So this is probably gonna be the last studio vlog for a while we'll see maybe i'll vlog when i'm in jersey too i told myself i'm only going to crochet a little in jersey though i'm supposed to be taking a break but we'll see how long that lasts so, all right let's get into this video guys look at this bee themed triceratops I made for somebody. Like how cute is it? Look, it has the little wings. And this is like one of the most adorable custom orders I have made to date. Like, oh my gosh, I just can't get over it. It's so cute. Just wanted to show you guys a super special custom order that I'm working on. So this right now, I don't know if you can guess what it is. Probably not because I would not be able to guess but this is gonna be a giant pumpkin and this is for somebody's wedding. It is a super special pumpkin for them because it symbolizes their father who passed away. And this will actually be in the wedding on a seat to kind of commemorate him. And I just thought that was so sweet, so precious. And I'm so honored to be able to make a pumpkin that is so special to them. So I'm making it out of this Bernat super chunky big blanket yarn and look how big this hook is. This is the biggest hook that I've, oh, that I've ever used. This is a 16 millimeter hook. So stay tuned to see how this pumpkin turns out. Happy Friday, friends. I am just checking in with you guys because I want to show you some of the projects that I am working on and some of the projects that I finished. Let's start with what I'm working on right now, my whip. Fun fact, when I first started crocheting, I had no idea what WIP stood for. And then it took me a long time on Instagram to realize it was work in progress. So for any newbies out there, whip means work in progress. So right now, you probably can't guess what I'm making, but I am making Dobby from Harry Potter. I'm actually making this from one of my best friends from high school. I feel so bad. She asked me to make this for Christmas and it is now May and I feel so bad, but I'm glad it's for my best friend because she's totally understanding and amazing. But yeah, it's gonna be so cute. And I actually have not read the Harry Potter books, so. I really don't know who Dobby is. I also haven't really watched the movies. I think what I'm looking forward to most is crocheting the little sock necklace that he has. But yeah, I'll show you guys later on when this is finished. I also made two regular velvet bees because, oh my gosh, did I tell you guys? I woke up the other day to my largest order yet. Like literally the largest order that I've ever received that wasn't wholesale. Like it even exceeds my wholesale orders. Like it, it is crazy. I woke up, I was like, but this order has eight plushies. It was over like $500 and part of the order is two bees. So I'm like, okay, let me just knock out the bees real quick. So I made these, oh, okay. I made these and then I made another sunflower turtle. I made this one in green this time. And oh my gosh, I think it's my favorite color combination yet. Like, look how gorgeous. And this is the jumbo size. So it is a literally a small child, but oh, Look how vibrant the shell is. I'm obsessed. Um, so my reel on Instagram of me making one of these sunflower turtles, it actually went semi-viral. Like it feels so weird to say that, but I literally posted this reel on a whim on a Saturday night. I was like, you know what? I haven't posted on Instagram. Usually I don't post on Saturdays because Saturdays I feel like my feed is dead and I don't get as many likes and views, but I was like, let me just post it. I already recorded it. Like, let me just send it out there. And I think it got like 20K views in the first like hour. And that was like crazy to me because my reels never really pop off like that. They're kind of like a slow burn kind of thing for me where they'll get a lot of views over time, but never like right away. So I was like shocked. And now I think we're at like 800K 
which is which is totally insane to me but a lot of people have been really interested in my sunflower turtles so i opened up a pre-order listing on etsy so i have a lot of sunflower turtles that i need to fulfill so you guys will probably be seeing a lot more sunflower turtles on my instagram feed and in this video also guys i am completely shocked we hit 2,000 subscribers today and i was like my heart my heart just can't take it thank you all so much for subscribing for watching for commenting for liking for following me it's been so much fun and i love connecting with all of you i'm really speechless like thank you guys so much it is so much fun creating these videos and crocheting and i just really love it so thank you guys so much i'm also going to keep it real with you guys and show you a project that i started and i just didn't like it. I wasn't in love with how it was looking and then I decided to just stop and cut the plushie open and I'm just gonna recycle the yarn for something else. Let me show you. So <laughs> we currently have this very sad hollow head cut open duck and I had this pattern on my to-do list for so long. I got it like last year and I finally was like, yeah, I'm gonna make this duck. It's gonna be super cute. And it's just not, it's just not cute. Part of it was because I just didn't follow the pattern correctly. So this body is kind of like a vase shape and it's supposed to be more rectangular. So I just didn't like how my body turned out. I think the neck is like way too long and yeah, the pattern originally uses acrylic yarn too and usually I don't like using acrylic yarn for plushies just because I love that super soft feel and look to them. So I usually don't use acrylic so that's why I chose this yarn. This is Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn and I was like dang I should have just used acrylic yarn. Like it is what it is. It happens. There's so many other times where I just completely stopped making a plushie because I was like, nope, I'm not feeling it. And that's totally okay. Part of the reason why I love crocheting is because it is so forgiving. Like I mess up all of the time. Like I am in no way a perfect crocheter. I am in no way a master. I mess up all the time. My stitch count is off all the time. And what I love about crochet is that it is so forgiving. Like if I mess up, I'll just pull the yarn, frog it. That is also a new term I learned. I had no idea like taking apart your project was called frogging it. I think that's what it means, right? I like didn't look up what frogging means specifically, but I just keep hearing people say it in the crochet community. I'm like, I think that's what they mean. So I'm sorry if I'm not using it correctly. So if I mess up or if my stitch count is off, I just, compl I just take that round apart. I like redo the round and then it usually works itself out. But I just love that I'm able to do that, you know? Mistakes happen and you can easily fix them. So that's what I really do love about crochet. It's a very forgiving hobby and you don't have to be too hard on yourself. But yeah, this poor guy, he didn't make it. Let me show you the original pattern just for context. See, I have, to, I have to keep scrolling all the way down in my library because like literally I bought this pattern so long ago. Where is it? Here it is. It is so cute. The pattern is so cute. I really am gonna give it another shot with acrylic yarn. This is it. But you see how the body is more like rectangular whereas mine wasn't? And I like how there's a mallard option. But yeah, this, this pattern I'll link down below in case you guys want to make it and I highly recommend using acrylic yarn. Here is more whips or work in progresses. I have a soon to be beige sunflower turtle that I need to get done. And then hiding back here, I have the very early stages of a triceratops. And LOL, I know I literally just said I don't like using acrylic yarn for my plushies, but this triceratops is another exception because it looks really dang cute with the acrylic yarn. And I will insert a picture here because I want you guys to see the finished look and how I did it in the past. And this Triceratops is actually part of that huge $500 order that I am working on. Also got my wedding pumpkin. She is almost done. I just have to sew on the stem, but like she is massive, but I love this like gold chunky blanket yarn that the customer picked out for her. And yeah, she is, she is thick. And then I wanted to show you guys my Wool in the Gang kit. All right, so this is a kit from Wool in the Gang. And if you guys don't know about it, it's literally a crochet slash knitting website that sells these really cool kits. 
and these kits aren't plushies. This is actually a sweater kit and I'm super excited because I have never crocheted any piece of clothing. I've only crocheted a bucket hat. So I'm really excited to treat myself when I go home to Jersey, which is literally tomorrow. I'll be there for two weeks. I'm not bringing any crochet plushy stuff. I am literally taking a break and I am treating myself to making a sweater. I am really, really excited because I have been watching a lot of Jenna Phipps. She is another crocheter slash creative person on YouTube and she got the same exact kit and she made this amazing rainbow wavy sweater that is inspired by Tom Daly. I will put it here. And I was like, I need to make that sweater. I want that sweater. So it's not the easiest first project, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. This kit was actually kind of expensive, not gonna lie. It was like a hundred dollars, but then I got a coupon code. So it brought it down to 80, but it's definitely an investment and it will force me to actually follow through and make this sweater. I usually tend to stay away from clothing because one, it's way too intimidating for me. Like I know people say the same thing about plushies, but for some reason, plushies just clicked. It just clicked for me. When I read patterns for clothing though, it freaks me out. I'm like, this is too much. So I hope this sweater is actually not that hard for me. But yeah, so that's reason number one why I've never crocheted clothing. And then reason number two is I just didn't have the patience for it. Like back in the day when I was like knitting, when I was younger, I just did not have the patience. I feel like I definitely have more patience now, but I feel like plushies, they don't take me that long and it's like instant gratification. So I don't know how I'm gonna do with a super long two week project, but hey, you know what? I'm gonna try my best. It'll be great. It'll be fun. And I'll also be providing my honest feedback about whether or not the kits are worth it. This is not sponsored. I am not at that stage of my YouTube yet. so. It'll be honest feedback. And I wanna show you guys some of the yarn. Like, look how gorgeous these colors are. Like, look at this. And it's cotton, so it will actually be pretty nice and not itchy, which is really important because I plan on wearing this sweater. Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys some exciting news. So later this month, on May 21st, I will actually be graduating from my master's program. I'm currently getting my master's part-time in project management at GW, which is where I actually got my undergrad degree back in 2020. So I've been taking classes online for the past three years part-time and I'm finally graduating. So as a gift, my mom, I I think is gifting me a camera and I'm like oh so sweet of her but I'm super excited because I always film these videos on my iPhone and I do think the quality is actually pretty good like I'm surprised iPhone has really stepped up the game with the camera quality but I'm really excited to get a camera though because the quality will be super super crisp and it will motivate me to keep making videos so yeah stay tuned for some crisper video quality in the future Woo! I literally had to put my hair out it is so hot but I did want to share some exciting news I have a patreon I don't know if a lot of people know this because I didn't really advertise it and I literally just made it and put it out there but but I do have a Patreon, no pressure to become a patron, but it is out there if you want some exclusive content, free patterns, and some other fun goodies. But that's not the point of this shout out. The point of this shout out is I have my very first patron. I literally got the notification that I got a patron and I'm like, no way. So huge shout out to my patron. I love you. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I really hope you enjoy being a patron of my Patreon. That kind of sounds weird to say. I don't know if that's the correct lingo, but thank you so much. Hopefully we'll have a bigger crochet crew joining you. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much. Mm -hmm.